There are many views as to when line dancing began or emerged. Some believe it stems from the folk dancing of the 1800s and others believe it arose in the 1970s disco era. Whatever the belief, line dancing is still a popular style of dance that can be choreographed to suit nearly any music style, including pop, rock or big band. And although line dancing is often associated with country and western music and cowboy hats and boots, as long as the dance is comfortable, and there's a steady beat or rhythm, line dancing will prevail. When teaching students, it is important to ensure their safety and to make sure they are listening to instructions. Make sure they have enough space around them, there are no obstacles in their way, they are wearing the correct footwear and are well hydrated. And remember, no hat, no play. What we're going to do is we're going to have magic markers. The first one is our little finger. We're going to write our name with our magic marker. This uses our wrist joints and our muscles. Now we're going to write it really big. Now this is using our shoulder joint and our shoulder muscles. Now we're going to switch our magic marker is our, on our left hand. We're going to write our last name. Again, using the shoulder muscles of our other hand and our wrist muscles. Now, for a bit of fun, we're going to use our nose. Because this is aimed at stage two and stage three, having a bit of fun with them is good. Our nose. So we might write the word flower because we can smell flowers with our nose. Again, this uses the muscles in our neck. Another one we can do is our feet. Can you see our feet? We're going to write the word of your favourite colour with our ankle. So I'm writing purple. And as you can see, this uses all our joints in our ankle. It also stretches our legs, our muscles in our legs, our hamstrings. Now, our other foot, I'm going to write my favourite food, pizza. Again, this uses these muscles and our ankle joints. For a bit of fun, we're going to use our elbow. Today we might write our the today's day. Today's day is Friday. Again, this uses all those muscles. And the other one, tomorrow's day is Saturday. Twisting, turning, walking, sliding, skipping, and step patterns. The main muscles you use are your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your calf muscles, your abs, and your hip flexors. The joints that you use are your hip, hip joint, knee joint, and your ankle joint. So we'll take a step to the right, step behind with the left, and another step to the right, and back the other way, and behind, and step to the right, and together. Next, we're going to put our hands on our hips, first to the right with our feet apart and the left and now sway to the right and to the left. We're going to go one and two and back the other way, one and two. Now we're going to take our guns and go to one side to the right and up and to the left and up and now swing your lassoes. Five, six, seven, eight. We're going to take our resting heart rate for 15 seconds so that we can compare it with our heart rate once we've finished our dance.
We're going to take our heart rate again to see if we've reached our target heart rate. And we're going to compare it with the one we took earlier to find out how much energy we've burnt during our dance. In addition to our heart rate, we're going to test our breathing rate. I can see you're all out of breath. That's great, which means you've worked really hard. students. So today we're just going to do some breathing exercises before we go back to the classroom. Okay, are you ready? Breathe in and out. In and out. Teachers could decide how often to do this for depending on how much exercise you've done. You can also sit down and just stretch our, our legs. A little you don't need to do a lot of cool down stretching for primary students but it is important to do some so they are aware that it needs to happen as they get older again you could sit here and breathe in and out and that's all that is really needed for primary students it's time to begin I'll count it in five six 